I think of myself as a, as a feminist artist um, because I'm for feminism, but uh, but my work is not generally about feminism per se. It's about, I mean, but something that I take as a given is is uh, we want people to grow and be liberated and uh, equal, and we're moving towards um, a better world. You know, a better world. That's the idea. That's the that's the liberal idea. Is we want to, we're moving to a better world, and the, it's not going to be a better world uh, if feminism is not mixed into that. It just won't be, so it's automatic. But, and I, I could also call myself a gay activist too, you know, and certainly um, civil rights, all those things, it's all part of the same stuff. It wasn't my intention to focus specifically in this piece about um, a feminist art, but it's what it turned out to be because I picked a prototypical, you know, the Promethean feminist artist herself, of Carolee Schneeman, who started us thinking about well, he's one of the number of people who started us thinking about the body and 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 the female body specifically. And I don't think that in initially she was trying to load in like political concepts that were specifically feminine. She was coming from I think initially kind of a, just a liberation kind of thing. This chart piece that is really specifically about Carol Lee's name it also shows a kind of a general branching of of interest in in work that is about uh, performance and the body and uh, shows people in the, in, in the as kind of sort of previous artists who she claims um, influenced her in some way. Like Artaud is really big for her, the, the theater of cruelty. And then people who are working at the same time. And of course there was a real dialogue going on when, when she was working with the Judson Dance Theater and working with um, people like Klaus Oldenburg and Alan Capro and Robert Rauschenberg. And then people who had a kind of a more a, a firmer idea about what it was that was going on. So when she actually started making work that was clearly about feminism, you know, which is an, about 10 years later, um, there was a, she was part of a, real, of a movement by that time. She was part of a movement. There, no one else has really said, uh, as far as I know, Carolee did this and when um, Annie Sprinkle did this, that she was somewhat standing on the shoulders of Kara Lee, but I could make those kind of connections, and maybe other people had. So that's what that chart sort of did, is that I laid out the people that Kara Lee claimed as her predecessors, then her contemporaries that she worked with to, together develop these ideas, and it actually picks a few high points in her career, because I think she had a few really classic definitive pieces, and they were you know, 10 years apart, which is really great for an artist to be able to to, to be hitting, because it's more than one mark. She hits more than one mark, and usually a, a famous artist has one idea, Carol Lee had more than one. And, uh, and then the sort of echo of all that kind of work is, is the rest of the chart.